Good morning, Shabbat Shalom. And I wanted to come on and do a little clip on deeper Parsha Torah meanings, secrets of, in the Parsha. And it's interesting this week because, or these couple of weeks, ever since Pesach, uh, we're in this zone in Leviticus and oh, so much levels of, of information and understanding and Ultimately, today, I want to zero in on a point called spiritual technology. This is the way I try to, I'm describing for myself anyways, and for people I think who can relate on this level, there is, the father is connecting his people, literally, in, in like, like it was a pipeline from him to that, like to the high priest or to whoever, in this absolute connection that is having amazing results. Uh, phenomena, spiritual phenomena is happening. Uh, both positive and negative. So what happened at the beginning in Leviticus 16 was it's this whole story of um, Aaron's two sons who uh, who offer strange fire. And, and lo and behold, the next minute, you know, the end. It's like, what, what was that all about? And I mean, Bible commentators for, you know, hundreds and hundreds and even thousands of years have tried to figure out and understand that. And um, a lot of it is very good and insightful and helpful. But on one level, uh, I think that this is where uh, we need to end here, or believe, because this this will be sort of the ending of this understanding. Because the spiritual technology, when you get to the sowed level, you're in a zone, okay? That and it is sort of like I call it the last frontier. But all that being said, so what happened? What 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 did the boys do? Or you the, the, these holy um, priests, because they were being trained as high priests, like their father. Uh, what happened? And a lot of it, again, my whole thesis, <clears throat> let me say this now, if you're here at this channel, I like to connect meat to the word, okay? We're not just teaching milk for, this is meat. We need to grow up into him, into our the, the anointing that Yeshua has, the mind of Christ in all things. But um, this is something where, uh, if you're here, do like, do subscribe to the channel. Do I have a, in the, in the box, I have all this like a link tree and I have a, a website you can get more information, but I'm building a whole curriculum on how to explain the tree of life. It's not scary and it's not occultic. This is our inheritance. This is the fullness of God that we can truly understand. So it's called PARS. So like, subscribe, share, and more than anything, go into the link tree and subscribe to the paid channel where there's tons of meat, where there's an ongoing access uh, to uh, how to really mine this for everything it's worth. You know, we're supposed to, it's a treasure. Uh, we, we find a field, right? One of the analogies, one of the parables that we find a, with, that has great treasure. So what we sell everything, we buy this field and we just go at it and mine all the gold that's in the field. So, uh, but this is where the archetypes are important. Now, what did, what happened? What we know is that the, they went into the Holy of Holies. They were to officiate. They were, took the censer. They were already instructed how to build these, this, this sensor that was to hold the incense, was, was to hold the fire, which I'm assuming was live hot coals, all right, from the, from the altar in the sensor, and they were to put uh, incense on it, and then the incense would burn, and it would create this incredible um, sensation of, of, of smell and sight and, and uh, all sorts of, you know, things would go on, but so when they did this, all of a sudden they, they, they fell backwards, it almost seems like, and they were dead. And so, but it, see, this follows, again, an archetype in nature. Find how the, and why the prophets are using this imagery and what it could possibly be saying. All right. See, this is spiritual technology. This is the one thing you have to understand. We are connecting. Now, we understand the whole universe today. This is, the, is an electromagnetic grid connection system there are pistons firing all the time you know electromagnetic and what that means is electro think of just what it, it's light and ultimately it's fire all right this is the fire this is what fire in the bible is talking about this whole world electricity that there is there's power out there that we don't necessarily normally see unless it like lightning falls down from or something okay but it's there it's very powerful um, so you have that element, you have the incense, which is made up of 12 ingredients from the earth, a very specific formula that was given one time to this one family who kept it generationally 
intact. This is story in the literature that it almost makes you want to cry that that had this formula because it was holy formula and they were not allowed to let it out and let it be sold like let the imitations be made or you know cheap cut no this was the holy temple and only one family had it and and until the point where i think that the uh, the story is under Rabbi Akiva, they, they lost the temple and they were kind of out of the job, so to speak. And they, they, they still did not impart with the, um, the formula, even though they went into exile. And there's a story about a little boy and it just, who, who had this formula and he knew he was the last generation to have it. I mean, that's pretty crazy how real, see on the Peshat level, there is a lot of, of deep uh, story that that we've lost or we not lost we we've lost as even because we have lost the concept of all the writing so we don't really okay no rabbit trail so anyways my point is when those boys either the fire that they took that they had in the center was not from the altar or the incense in itself was defective because what happened was when you have an electromagnetic current and if something happens you know, through, and it basically would be not following protocol. Something happens and the wires get crossed. You can have a fire, immediate fire, an immediate explosion on huge levels, okay? This is the whole point. We're not, we're, you know, so something happened which told them and everybody it's like, man, we better not play with fire. This is the, because when the priest did these rituals correctly, things happened. Fire came down from heaven. This electro world, this is a spiritual world of light and energy, raw, pure energy. I can't, this is what the Torah tells us. They're completely before modern science, all right? They figure this all out. You, if you're going to make a connection all the way up to the high, to the high, to the throne of Elohim with this fire, this like, and an element, the incense, you better do it correctly. Because this is the point. It will, and it can, and, and it has short-circuited. Now, the thing that we, why I know that this is true <laughs> is because in the Hebrew, and again, like my point, Hebrew doesn't lie. There is the word here used is the word. I mean, you can look it up yourself, and I do suggest people do because it is a uh, a very important Bible study. It is this word two one one four in Strong's, okay, and it means another. Well, it's translated another. It's translated strange, where we get it in ours, Parsha, and um uh really strange or other another and you know another or other okay and there are two words this one is this word i don't alos this is yes this is alos which is another word i have taught this a lot but this is a nuance it is very important to understand because this is why things, when it says that things are hidden in the soul level, what that means is you've got to go dig deep. It's not like going to be right on the surface you, that you can pull out and you're going to teach the Sunday school kids that. No, this is take some deep research. You have to stay connected to the Hebrew. You've got to understand. So there's this word, which means another kind, not in the same class. So I can walk with, I can walk my dog. So I'm walking another what an animal it's not in the same class i'm not but i can walk with another person that that's an, in the same class we're both people so you got to understand you can but but what you attach yourself to it's very important and there's a word for that so if i'm walking with someone like me of the same kind it's a certain word if i'm walking along with something else like a horse or a cat or a dog or something right that's not humanoid there has to be a word to differentiate because um so it is so this is strange flesh this is what it comes it is something i know that it wasn't what was prescribed by god something in the circuitry or in the ritual went wrong and it had dire consequences and and even if the verse i believe for today's partial when it reads where where basically it happened and moshi just said to tell aaron just don't even come in here unless you are like on the money. If you are spot on all your garments, you know, uh, the fringes, everything is in order. You have the, you know, the, the, the your hat on. <laughs> I know there's a better word for it, but you have the, 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 the mitra on the head that says holy to the Lord. I mean, all these things are based really important. He says, don't even come if you're not going to 
because look what happened to your son. We got to take this very soon. So it was also an object lesson to the people, really. But see how we've lost that we're so cavalier. Even in our prayers today, we are so unconnected. The one thing the Jews have done, people, and this is a fact, and you can believe it more and more as you learn and study the Hebraic roots of our faith, um, how these prayers kept the people connected to the tree a lot, kept them connected. We today have prayers that really are not connected to anything except our emotional state, okay, which is not really necessarily connected to our emotional state in Torah, the same thing, okay. Now, uh, oh, I didn't want to take too much time to say all that, but what I did want to, so I want you to think about something here, because once you look at do a word study, there's about four or five places where this word is used and very important. Like when, when Adam gets another son, gets Seth, it's another, it, it, uh, it's of a different kind than let's say the last previous son, or it talks about another place, the, this one at the end of the age, the um, Israel will be in another place. So it has huge ramifications, but I want to talk about this one. If we were just to talk about the heavens, just to ponder, all right, and I'm going to show you a chart how in a second here, but the heavens are electro, all right, so what I'm saying, they're light, and there's an energy, and life, we're told a lot of things are in this light. Che, the life, and we know that this light is the life of men, and then this life is the light of men. Um, and it, it's the word, it, it so it's elemental in some sense, okay. And it's so, but listen, we have an axe, we have this concept of the tongues of fire, but let me put it this way biblically, it's fire, and it biblically, it's raw energy, people, and this has so. You know, you can go the, the deep with this, all right? But either way, think about the one, the tongues of fire in Acts, right? What was that all about? Do you feel you have a good biblical exegesis answer on what, in, even in a physical phenomenon, all right? How about the fire came down from heaven? We have um, a couple instances of fire coming down from heaven. Well, what comes from heaven? What comes down from heaven that's electro, but lightning? And we have this in the New Testament. They saw lightning fall from heaven. Well, where's heaven? So where is this electro? We know it's in heaven. It's in the, it's an atmospheric phenomenon. Okay. And um, yeah, I mean, even in Sodom and Gomorrah, he, he definitely tor torches them <laughs> in, in, and what is going on? I mean, is God being a vindictive, you know, or are there built-in mechanisms? See, because God is saying during our time of history, let me make this point, Yah is resting. He's not working. This whole 7,000 years is like one Shabbat to him. And he's been resting. So how's stuff been being getting done? Well, he built, in a sense, the, the supercomputer, could. it's just operating. He's by breath, by breath, by him just breathing. Saying everything is just functioning and there are built in, you know, blessings and curses. So it's not like he has to, now there are times in the Bible and there's a whole level you can get to an understanding where the father totally overrides the laws he set. But for the most part, for the unbeliever, for those who have no merit, for those who aren't even, you know, it, it's, it's real, it's real kind of cut and dry chaos. Um, it's you'll never figure it out but Sodom and Gomorrah in the world in, I don't even know how Gomorrah uh, <laughs> is wired the earth will spew out its inhabitants well you know we got to think about that it's like it doesn't say God's going to spew them out the earth is in sense of and, and what are we talking about because that's a highly coded trick but there's something there's a mechanism here you know trick it's a, remember this whole concept um, you probably don't. Some of you might not have the deep, my teachings on the tree of life and the pillars and this, this, this cycle of movement that is just embedded and is a result of this. Um, anyways, but then we, of course, we have Aaron's two sons, right? And that started this off. And, um, oh, there's many more where we have to see that this fire, this, this electro response, this short circuit and the negative 
And on the flip side, this electro, what did Paul see when he said, um, I'll, I'm not a personal note, because that's really, <laughs> I had another whole PowerPoint I was going to share, but I wanted to, well, maybe I will, but I want to make this point. When Paul saw the bright light, okay, now whether, it doesn't matter whether he, it was manifested in the physical. I think it was at this point, this was a sign on all levels on his body. You know, if you can see some a phenomena, his soul was illuminated, his mind was blown, blown wide open. So in a body, soul and spirit way, uh, that light. And I had that experience one time because I was reading the, the Torah one time and it, very early on. And I had this whole sense. I had just taken a mikvah. I was in this place. I was reading my Torah, I was home, I was with the Father, everything was like, for the first time in my life, I'm like, in spiritual heaven, <laughs> and I get it, and then all of a sudden, there was this incredible glow on the side of my wall, and it was brilliant summer, sunny day, and I'm thinking, and it's not the sun, because the sun is going that way, through that window, and I got this, but this ended up to be a whole spiritual experience I had, which tells me, I know there's an electro, quote unquote, light behind the light. And that's what it, the Torah is always telling us that's on the deeper levels. That's in understand that is what even quantum physics is telling us now. So everything is tracking to one vector, but here I'm gonna screen share something really quick and here to make it easy for you. I really would encourage people to, if these videos are, you know, making an interest in you, a spiritual interest to dig deeper, I'm trying to present the fact that science and Torah really are saying the same thing. When you learn through the keys to the kingdom, how you should, there's a, there's a way to interpret data, you know, biblically, so you can harmonize it. And if you don't know that, then you're just kind of shooting in the dark. But what I want to say, and this is, this is something that over, especially the last Parshas we've been doing here. Uh, one thing that's been going on on all these levels is is building through all these mitzvahs and commandments that Moshe's giving. He's building not only a physical tabernacle, okay? That and you must understand these things have vertical uh, levels of connection to them. So, which is equated with our nephesh soul life. That's what the Bible says. The word body in the Hebrew, it's this word nephesh. Okay. But it's in, and it's talking in our physical body, but it also uses it parabolically talking about the earth, like the body, like, like mother earth, like that there's this, um, uh, like the, the earth functions like the body for nature, and it does, and that's in there. So you have this concept of physicality and what it looks like. Then you have this idea of psychologically, all right? This is, and these last, and intellectually, these two dimensions of the being of us, of an atomized person, the son of God is soul and spirit, not just body. Unfortunately, the secular is thinks that everything, all these mechanisms, the psychological and the intellectual, are really only just reactions in the chemical of the body in the comes and, and they couldn't be for the because we're dealing with light people. This is the point. We're dealing with light, life, it, it, things that, that, that you'll never get under a microscope. I mean, we are we are climbing the ladder here in in terms of pure essence. All right, which uh, we don't. So anyways, I want to say that that's in there, that's coded, and that's water, and that's air. These are ways in which they keep track of these dimensions, which are real. Now, when you go down into the into the lower bar box I have, which is sort of, what color is that? It's kind of a putrid yellow um, mustard color. Okay, but earth, again, we're sticking with that color. And in the earth is this level I taught parts of shot level, things that we can know, you know, we can figure out the geography, we can track the genealogies, we can, we can put it in its historical context, we can see the large migrations that are, especially between nations and power structures and grids, and the laws of nature. So there's a lot there. And then in water, which is another word that is used, but it's used for our psychological nature. Remember, um, or unstable as water, okay? And that's considered in this, this area of parts called the Ramez and the Drosh, and it's our inner motives. It's our blessing, you know, are we blessing or cursing? And we can look like we're blessing, I'm oh, smiling, I'm smiling, but inside you are like cursing the person out, <laughs> seriously. You know, guilty, I'm sorry. 
not, um, hard conditions, all this is known and seen in the, in the, by the spiritual uh, world and then psychology. So, and then to wrap it up again, the soul level, this is where, and this is in the book in Daniel, where, you know, Daniel's up there and he's seeing literally the principalities and the powers, you know, the, the Archangel Michael, he is seeing this thing playing out in the air, where it is, which is this level of um, spiritual warfare in the heavenlies the other, amongst other kind of beings until they do not have the level of physicality. Okay, there's a lot that's going on in here. And so these Parshas, as you read them year after year, you're going to glean deeper and deeper, but it's a good starting point to at least know that this exists and to, uh, to look for the secrets and to not, and that they have a foundation that they're very logically precept upon precept built. So I hope that blessed you. And um, again, do that two word studies on the word fire and on the uh, concept of this another, and it will bless your spiritual growth. Shalom.